terms of wind protection. Drones, cameras, motorcycles. Look at it. Got it all. There's Eddie. There's John. There's Nadal. Lessons. Hey, good morning, guys. Sunday morning, Saturday morning, we're going to visit Robert Simmons. He's in New Jersey. He's come to give a session, a riding session, so the crew decided to call, go. I think actually one or two of them are actually going to do the, the course. I'm just going to go and say hello. I took Blackbird out for a change. It's been feeling neglected lately. So let me uh, try to play a little sound beat over here with the recorded and re compare it with uh, what I've lately been doing with the audio system. A new place, a new home for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. Obviously we're, we're standing, waiting for John to come over. Nice and loud. some reason it's not as clear it is loud obviously it is loud the speakers are here it's nice and loud but for whatever reason it's not as crisp clear it's a good system I have it's a Sony XAV 7000 I think bases are better over here but it's not as clear and I'm at 33 out of 50. No fault. I done doubled up on the workload. I think I fell in love. Oh, that's it. Just as a little bit of comparison. Small comparison here. Okay, now I'm going 65, 70 on Blackbird with my audio system played at, uh, I don't know, 48, 40. 47 out of 50 and I I can't hear the music first of all it's not as defined and clear as uh, with Grey Ghost but the windshield otherwise I'm looking uh, but the main thing I think first of all is obviously the pipe the, this uh, pro pipe 2 into 1 is uh, really loud but let's say I'll even go closer you see I'm going closer really close to the speakers I don't know it's the I guess it's the placement the placement of the speakers that they're a little bit to the side a little bit further spread out whatever for whatever reason it's not it's not getting all the way to my ears uh, clear now let me tell you something it's something that I noticed for the last few rides and uh, now that I'm on Blackbird again I immediately notice the difference between a fixed fairing and a bat wing now don't don't hate me all of you uh, bat wing lovers I love a bat wing as well but uh, the difference is significant it can be felt immediately when you get onto this bike these small small vibrations in the handlebars not vibrations but even movements like that okay and we you don't even feel them they're micro movements immediately they change the whole feeling and handling of the bike it's so so much so much more uh live i would say so so different as as when you're with the the fixed fairing you feel the bike going straight and no matter the uh, movements you have with your steering wing with your handlebars like i'm doing right now 
You feel the bike carving into the mass of air, straight direct. No wiggling, no uh, little movements. I said it uh, the other day in the aspect of uh, like where, why there's way more buffeting with this bike, okay? As opposed to my smaller fairing on the Lowrider ST. And it's, it's the fact that it's a fixed fairing as opposed to a batwing fairing which is mounted on the on the front forks on the handlebars so we're gonna go meet up at Wawa so yeah definitely the sound here is like I can't hear it I have to go all the way up and sound is not clear it's distorted you can hear by yourself. We're now at 70. Oh, definitely, I can tell you. For sure, in terms of wind protection, I have zero, zero. Let's go for a little flyby and say hello to everybody. There's Eddie. There's John. There's Nadal. There's Jerry. George. There's FNR. And they're all in the mirror. Look at this ride. Look at this Chevy. Look at this. And what is that, a Porsche? No. What is that? Is really cool. It's some kind of club, historic club. And uh, what is that? That's beautiful. Oh my God. So nice. Really nice. like an historic club or something going on a ride that's pretty cool all these older cars wonder what that is because this is the second one I've seen What's that? okay we just uh, met up over here at uh, Bon Jovi Turnpike bon, bon Jovi rest area right there and uh, bunched up with bunched up with Nadal and FNR and we're riding out now <clears throat> to meet up with uh, Robert Simmons paying it forward Rob we're gonna see you very soon well we're slowing down it seems like we're pulling into the oh there it is there's Rob's uh, rig preload and keep it loaded How you doing? Sandy? How you doing? What's going on, brother? Good.
Rob's all set up. All the cones are in place. Weather is, is not, not cooperating. It's, it's foggy, but it's not rain. Not raining. Every once in a while, there's a little drizzle. The surface is wet. Hopefully, they'll be, they'll be doing good. So, a nice turnout over here. A lot of bikes. Subscribers came to say hello. It's really cool. It was in and I live over here. I was like, a lot of cool, loyal subscribers came out. You know, to see, to see Robert and to take part in the course, the slow riding course. Oh, the ST. Nice. Now, this is a scene to watch. Look at all these YouTube. Five, five cameras, five cameras on one event, not including uh, Rob. Hollywood, watch out, here we come. Look at this, drones, cameras, motorcycles. Look at, we got it all. Watch out, Cohen brothers, we're here. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, Coca-Cola, six, drone, seven, people, eight. I'm going to get a cup of coffee. <laughs> My buddy wants to ride the Palisades Parkway. That's up by you, right? Yeah, it's nice. Just, right. Right. Just get it in Fort Lee by the bridge. Yeah, 9W. Go 9W. And the good thing is it's wet out here. What if you make that turn and then there's a patch of private lessons? That's good. Check out his channel. I think Rob's doing the best out here with his uh, slow maneuvering skills out here. He's yeah. definitely the guy. To, uh, that you guys want to learn from. Appreciate Thank you. Man. Appreciate you. Awesome. Excuse me, can I Stay shake? Right can I absolutely. shake your hand? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it's the holy shit. <laughs> That's it. You Thank you. Oh, look at <laughs> <laughs> you almost broke Sandy's bones. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Thank you guys you. rolled up like bosses Thank too, but you all owe me 10 push ups. <laughs> I know you funny. I know it was funny. We did that. <laughs> I, said, we I wish I would have known that you were doing that from the start. Oh, I would have got it. But I got something. All right, cool. So, guys, I'm almost, almost home. Hope you enjoy this video. Just before you leave, please do me a favor. Go into www.holyshift.us and check out the shirts, the stickers, the hats, all the merchandise that you can get and take part in this raffle. 
this 2015 Sportster Iron 883. It's going to be raffled in uh, three weeks from now. Go ahead and get yourself uh, entered. It's ending very soon and it's uh, pretty much the last moment. All of you that are watching, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for subscribing and thank you to my Patreon my Patreons for the out uh, for for the ongoing support. Fred, Jose, Chris and Mark. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. I'm Sandy. You are watching Holy Shift. Guys, until the next video, gonna do it. Peace out. That's how you that's how you say hello to me? That's how he says hello to me? I just got home. That's his welcome. Oh my god, these chihuahuas are unbelievable. They're bullies, they're miniature bullies. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna install, if weather holds, I'm gonna install the tour pack, the Advan Black, Advan Black Tour Pack. It's waiting for me. I'm gonna do it now. Yeah.